Welcome back my goodies. Today I'm going to make some good bread. Yeah man, stop buying bread at the supermarket. Why not just make it yourself? So here I have all the ingredients that I'll be using. I made a Jamaican cocoa bread. If you have not seen that video as yet, please check out the video, it's on my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos and share the videos my friends, okay? All right, so here I have four cups of all purpose flour. I have two eggs, four tablespoons of um, brown sugar, you can use white sugar. I have three tablespoons of instant yeast, and this is the instant yeast that, I'm be, uh, that I'll be using. I have some um, extra virgin olive oil. I have two cups of cow's milk, six tablespoons of melted butter, and one teaspoon of salt. So the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to combine the dry ingredients. So I'm going to put the these straight to the flour and my sugar, quick and easy. Salt, and I'm going to combine this. All right, so I've combined the dry ingredients now i'm just gonna go in with the wet ingredients i'm adding the two eggs six tablespoons of melted butter you want the butter a little bit warm not too hot and two cups of warm milk don't want the milk too hot either And with my wooden spoon here, I'm just going to combine all of this before I knead it. So after you finish combining it, goodies, your dough should look like this. All wet and sticky. You're always going to need some dry flour. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to dust my surface with some dry flour. Just dust the surface with some dry flour. And I'm going to transfer my dough to the counter. So what you want to do, you want to grease your hands with the olive oil so the dough does not stick to your hand. Nice. So with the damp surface and your hands greased with the olive oil you can use coconut oil or vegetable oil to grease your hands i just use the olive oil you know because it's just a preference already have enough butter in here can't take too much oil so i, I use the olive oil which is a little bit healthier dust your surface so just continue to knead your flour for about two to three minutes Okay, so you go, your dough should be looking like this when you finish kneading. And here I have some of my olive oil in my pan. So what you want to do now, you want to put your, your dough, just, just grease it a little bit as well. You know, grease the top and the bottom. Grease your pan nicely, just like that. And we're just gonna leave it in the pan. We're gonna cover this down. We're gonna cover this down for um for about for about an hour and leave it to rise. Cover it with some cling saran wrap and put your um your kitchen towel over it as well. So I'm gonna put it in the oven. Like that's the warmest part of my kitchen for it to rise quickly. Okay, good. So it has been an hour. Let's see how this is doing. Yeah, man, see? Nice and rise. So I want it to pack up, yeah. So what I normally do, I normally just punch out some of the ear bubbles. Just punch out it. Get out some of the ear, see that? Yeah, get them out. Get them out of there. And then I'm going to transfer this now to my counter again. I'm going to knead it again for about two to three minutes. 
um, you want to damp your surface with some more dry flour. So after you knead it out, then you're just going to separate it in sections. Depends on the size bread that you need. So I'm just going to cut, cut this into about, I think I'm going to do this in three. Yeah. So I'm doing it in three pieces. Then I'm going to show you how to roll your bread now. So we're gonna take one piece and just gonna just flatten it out a little bit, like so. And then we're gonna fold the bread. You can just knead it like this. Just fold it, fold it, fold it can stretch it out a little bit more so you can get another fold just like that and when you get to the last you can just bend this under like that the other side under just fold it up like this nicely to give it a bread shape and you're gonna just pinch this to close it up so pinch the sides Fold it and pinch it and close it up like that. Like this. And just roll it out, give it a little bread, bread shape look. Like so, after you finish rolling it. Like that. See? So when you get to your desired length, then you're gonna put it into your bread pan or your baking pan so i greased with some olive oil and i'm just going to place it in just like so and i'm going to co cover this again with my plastic wrap and i'm going to put it back in the oven which is the warmest part, as I said, of my kitchen. I'm going to put it back and I'm going to leave it there for another 45 to an hour. 45 minutes to an hour. There you go. So just going to leave it and let it rise again. We're going to do all three breads like that. Guys, I need to subscribe to the channel because trust me your girl have a lot more recipes a lot more ideas to share with you so i'm just gonna fold the others all three i remember i just give it a little fold like this just like that fold him up just like that yeah and then i pinch the edges pinch them under and pinch under the other edge and just give it like a a bread shape okay okay my friends so these are what the bread looks like after i take them from the oven for them to proof so now as you can see them get a little fat up so i'm just gonna bake these at 350 degrees I did give this a slit in the middle because I want this one to do something special. So I made a circle in the middle. I'm just gonna fill that with cheese. <laughs> so don't mind this one, I did that on purpose. Um, but yeah, so as you can see all them fat up in the pan. So they're ready for going in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay, here they are goodies, about 20 minutes in the oven and they are looking beautiful. Yeah, man. So let me know what you think about this um, bread recipe. I'm going to cut into one, of course. I'm just waiting until it cools down a little bit. Still hot. I'm gonna let you see what it looks like on the inside. And of course, I've gone ahead and I've made some garlic butter to eat with my bread. So. If you want to get the garlic butter recipe, leave me a comment 
and I can share this one. It is very lovely. Beautiful, tasty, nice and delicious garlic butter. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you want to see that recipe. All right, stick around to see the inside of the bread. But as you can see, they are looking beautiful. Look at that. All right, goodies, as promised, I was going to show you how the bread looks. This is it, nice and soft, see? This is the softest bread you're going to ever, ever, ever eat in your whole life. And it's so delicious, so yummy. Doesn't cost you anything more than four cups of flour and two eggs. <laughs> yes, yes, see there? soft and nice you, you know what is nice to make um gar garlic um bread see that this is a piece that i cut off look at that remember to like up the video share up the video subscribe for more amazing recipes